Hello, this is Mitchell Song from VMware Cloud Director, Object Storage Extension Team, based in Shanghai, China. Today, I'm honored to give a demo about our new feature, coming with version 1.5, about shared storage for multi-site tenants. This feature would enable two associated VCD tenants in multi-site environment to use the same storage group as alias, and then share the buckets and objects inside it. This is today's demo environment scope. The demo would use Cloud Direct 9.7, Object Storage Extension 1.5, and Cloudian 7.2 as the environment. The two sides of VCD and the two tenants inside them are set as associated already. Originally, they were pointing to their default mapping in Cloudian based on their VCD tenant ID. Later in the demo, I will create a new storage group inside Cloudian and point both tenants to it to enable shared storage feature. Let's see what will happen. For part one, we would keep the tenants using the default mapping and do some simple CIUD inside them. Now we are seeing as the provider view of the OSE. This is detailed information about demo Acme tenant on 101 site. And this is the demo beacon on 97. Please note that they are all pointed to the default storage tenant, which ID is the VCD tenant ID now. We can check for the demo Acme as well. Then we can go to the tenant view of OSE with the same tenant administrator login. To keep both sessions alive, I use another browser application to show about the tenant view. So please ignore about the slightly difference of appearance. For both sides, they all show two panels on dashboard to indicate about associated tenant and itself. Then we can test for the association first. Let's go to the local view of buckets on demo beacon tenant. Now we can create one bucket in it, name it as BKT beacon. Now it shows successfully as local bucket on site 97. Let's go to site 101 to view this bucket as a remote one. Okay, the bucket BKT Beacon also exists here. For part two, I will create a new storage group and appoint both tenants to it. Instead of typing in the console endpoint of Cloudian in the browser, simply click on the navigation icon on the provider view of a single tenant. Then it would redirect to the config Cloudian. Now let's create a new group named the group demo for this demo. Then we need to go back to the provider view to change the tenant's mapping to the newly created group. Let's start from demo Acme. Firstly, we need to disable the tenant and enable it with the alias of created group. Typing the prefix would help to find the group more quickly. Then let's click on enable to bring the tenants back online. After switcher, beside the tenant name becomes green. We can find that the storage tenant ID is now not the default one, but the pointed group we just defined. Next is to repeat the same work on the tenant demo beacon. First disable and second enable it with alias.
Okay, the shared group is also shown on the storage tenant ID for demo beacon now. So both tenants are pointed to the same storage group. We can check for the tenant view for the mapping result. It is obviously that both for the remote and local views of demo beacon are back to clean since it has mapped to a new storage group. Please note it may take a while to sync up the alias. Now we can start checking for the feature about shared storage. After pointing to a new storage group, we get two tenants both clean with no buckets. Then we can create one bucket on demo acme named the BKT acme demo. And another bucket on demo beacon named the BKT beacon demo. Let's create one object inside the bucket to test for the object sync on shared storage. The created time is around 11.50 and the cron job to sync for the shared storage tenant would be triggered every 10 minutes. So let's wait for 10 minutes and refresh the bucket section on tenant view to check again for the feature. Okay, now it's 12.02. After refreshing the buckets view, we can find that the bucket created on demo Acme is already synced to the local view of demo beacon. And so does the other side. The object count indicates that the object is already inside it. Let's go and check whether the object inside is synced properly as well. Okay, we can find the VMware picture is already shown to us. Let's try to preview it. Okay, it works fine. Also, if you navigate back to the dashboard, you can find that the usage information for the two tenants are synced to the same. That's all for today's demo. Hope this is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.